With me is Tony Casal, who's VP of Sales and Marketing for Hydra Force. Thank you, Roger. How are you? Good. Nice Thank to meet you. you. We were just talking before the break here what uh, what's all happening in this industry and how rapidly it's changing. Oh, it's changing. Uh, old, old, old industry, but a lot of new stuff coming out in the industry. So it's very exciting for us. Now, what are your what's your company? What did you bring to the uh, to the to the business this year? Well, Hydroforce is uh, the leader in the market of what's called the cartridge valve, mm -hmm. right? And uh, so uh, we always continue to innovate. We uh, believe that's our strength is innovation. So new technology every day. So what are you doing to bring the, uh, the let's say, the reduction in hydraulic to the footprint of a piece of equipment? Yeah. Well, uh, the cartridge valve uh, format is getting smaller and smaller. Customers have less and less space on the machine, especially with tier four. Right. Right. So that's always, that's a big challenge for them. So what we've started to do is take multiple valves and stick them into one valve. Okay. So where we used to have what's called the cavity, which is the the, the piece of the metal that holds the valve in place. Right. All right. We take a couple valves and we get rid of those cavities and put them into one valve. So the footprint gets smaller. So it's much more efficient as far as uh, pressure loss throughout the system. Okay. And then the other thing, of course, is the size of the overall hydraulic package gets uh, smaller. Well, what does that do to, let's say, the, the longevity of the valve? I mean, doesn't it make it much tougher? No, you know, uh, the from a failure mode effect yeah. analysis you know, perspective for the right. customer, right? You've taken out leak points, so you got less product going into the manifold. So that makes it better for the customer. Uh, the general components that are put into it, are pretty much the same, it's just a packaging process that goes on inside the valve. And so really, actually the longevity of the machine improves because you've got less components to fail within the machine. Okay. Now Hydroforce recently opened a big R&D center. We've been talking about how that's so rapidly changing in this industry almost by the hour. Yep. What, uh, what do you uh, hope to obtain by doing that? Well, uh, being the leader in the cartridge valve market, uh, last year we released over almost uh, 275 new uh, cartridge valves, okay? Uh, we did uh, about 1,200 manifolds, and uh, the whole thing is to go ahead and improve it, get it to market faster, uh, and you, you brought up the, the uh, longevity of the product. We're doing more and more testing of the product, so we, we uh, tripled the lab space within Hydroforce. Uh, what, does, what, what, what does all of these new uh, technologies, are? Are, are the imposition of regulations? What does that bring to a company like yours? Like, let's say, tier three, then tier four, and yep. tier four final, yep. and Lord knows what's coming down the pike here, right. but what does that bring into you? Well, uh, tier four, uh, first of all, is all about uh, engine efficiency, right? Uh, our, our, our OEMs struggle because they have to uh, do the same amount of work, and in some cases, it's with less horsepower, because they're trying to stay within these certain limits of tier four. And so what we have to do with them on their hydraulic side of it is uh, get more out of our system with less horsepower available. So it's about horsepower management, right? Got and it. it's also about reducing the hydraulic loss right. within the system.